Uh, for the pips, welcome back to the channel and if it's your first time here, welcome. Today you join me as I continue my mega epic, super amazing North Coast 500 travel and photography vlog part two. <laughs> what a mouthful. Um, so in this part, I'm going to be explaining where I'm staying. I've already done the research on the hotels and this is that part of the the vlog and I want you to have a look tell me what you think uh, there is the little bit of uh, leeway where I can cancel and move so if you had some really bad experiences or you've had some really good experiences near where I'm staying I'd love to have your information with that said and done let's roll it <laughs> So I start my adventure on a Sunday morning and this planning of the NC500 actually did take a whole day to plan. Just finding the right hotels at the right prices was never easy. So I decided I'd start my, my uh, trip from Leicester and headed north to Edinburgh where we decided this will be the first stop giving us the opportunity to look around Edinburgh and just relax after the drive up. Now we chose this Premier Inn. This Premier Inn was an absolute bargain at £55 for the night and then we had to pay, I think it was another £9.50 for breakfast, which if you've ever stayed in the Premier Inn, you know exactly what you're going to get and that breakfast is stunning. Not sure about the fish, looks like it's at half my chips. Uh, but you know, it is what it is, it's a premier in at the end of the day and it works wonders. So my second stop is in Inverness and it's the Ku Guest House. Ku meaning cow. It just looks a really, really nice and welcoming place to stay. Clean, tidy, continental breakfast only, but I guess you're going to be able to upgrade to full Scottish, Irish or English breakfast. Looks like it's pretty bike friendly, uh, which is no problem. What I did like was the theme rooms at the North Coast 500. I feel like it's given me a little bit of excitement and momentum and just curiosity to start the trip and, and move forward. going to be a stopover in Wick. I feel that by now we would have seen everything we needed to see on the East Coast and we're going to be staying at 13 MacArthur Street which it looks really really nice it just looks like a welcoming house somewhere where we can rest our weary heads from traveling. I do like the nod to the Premier Inn uh, with a purple tower but anybody that leaves me <laughs> some shortbread is surely is going to be my friend for life. From there we're going to be driving across the north top there and uh, John O'Groats and um, Betty Hill are moving and making our way over to where we'll stay for our fourth night and this is where we're going to stay and it's Tong. Now any information on Tong is truly appreciated. The guest house we're staying in is absolutely beautiful it's just traditional Scotland for me this is it really really is beer on tap what more could a man ask for looks like we've got some amazing vistas and, and more beer I don't think I, I need much more day five and we're staying in the Hardwick house uh, a place in Ullerpool right on the the lock itself absolutely stunning vistas cannot wait really looking forward to this one heard a lot of good things about Ullapool and a nod to the Premier Inn once again but stunning location for an overnight stay and maybe a kick around uh, along the lock in the morning before breakfast square sausage oh fantastic I've not had that since I were a kid oh, I love a square sausage you can go wrong with it looking forward to this one should be a pleasure and that square sausage, love it. Day six, and we're taking on the Apple Cross Pass, traditionally known as the Black Nabar. 
absolutely stunning views i've seen so much about this place this for me is the location that encouraged me and inspired me to drive the nc500 this is the part where i will be in my element so once we've taken on the black nabar it will be a case of staying at the apple crossing now i could not get this on booking.com i guess it's so popular that they could afford not to put it on booking.com so i decided to go direct just because of the reviews that this place has had and i couldn't really go wrong again except for the fish looks like it's at my chips once more so it is what it is guess some some locations are just trying to be something they're not and for me keep it basic look at the booze i love it day seven loch ness now this is where i'm going to need your help do i take the high road or do i take the low road for me i've got no idea there's nothing in it other than five minutes so i'm really hoping that you guys will reach out and just say to me chris take the high road because of this or take the low road and you've got to stop here and view this so please reach out and give me a hand and as we make our way across the high road or the low road we're going to be staying at the loch ness inn just off of loch ness itself a stone's throw looks absolutely amazing cannot wait really excited for this one i can imagine waking up really early in the morning just going out with a camera and enjoying the view of loch ness fingers crossed for the weather so our final day we're going to be leaving loch ness going through glencoe making our way to glasgow because it'd be just rude not to it really really would and then final stay will be in blackpool where i'm going to get my head down and get some rest and maybe enjoy the sights of blackpool uh, and then head back to leicester the following day and that is my nc 500 hotel stops for september 2022 i can't wait i can't wait don't forget guys like share and subscribe and also hit that notification bell for any further updates on this trip because it is going to be super epic and all the other crap that i've put in the title thanks for watching Take care.